to create your own plug, it's a good idea to start with a plane. Make sure it's sitting at the world origin, or you may run into deformation issues. I'm going to keep it very simple here, so I'm just insetting, and extruding a face downwards. Everything outside of the extruded part can be removed. I'm then extruding and scaling the boundary edges, to create the perimeter loop. Every plug should have one. It represents the surface level and so should be at a Z value of 0, the same as the origin. While not strictly necessary, I like to align my corner verts like this. The unfuck tool helps. Also, use symmetrize if you can. I'm then running the hardops as sharpen tool. This ensures that the hard edges are marked as sharps, which is important for the create plug tool, to determine if a plug is a fillet plug or an edge plug. If you don't have hardops, you need to select the hard edges in edit mode and mark them sharp using the control E menu. This can be considered done already. At least as far as the plug mesh goes. Every plug consists of at least two things. The plug mesh, and every bit as important, the plug handle. To complete the plug creation, and create the handle, ensure the plug mesh is active, and run the create plug tool from the plug utils sub-menu. The handle will be created automatically, but only in part. Usually you want to inset at least once more and then fill out the rest by cutting, or connecting. The aim is to create roughly even topology, and getting rid of all n-gons. Also, the plug handle mesh needs to be able to subdivide. It's what the precision value does and how the plug tool finds the faces it needs to replace. This one doesn't subdivide properly yet, because of the n-gon corners in the center. So, I'm fixing it. Good. After you've tested subdividing, don't forget to undo it again. As you can see, the handle is a perfectly flat mesh, slightly bigger than the plug mesh itself. It's also the root object of the plug. It's the parent of the plug mesh. At this point, you should always select the handle, and run the validate plug tool, which does a number or checks to confirm everything is in order. The dialog provides useful information and will alert you, if something is wrong. The create plug tool has created a vertex group on the plug mesh, covering the perimeter loop. All surface level polygons need to be in this vertex group. And so if you have plugs like the example plugs 10 and 26, you need to manually add the surface level polygons in the center, to the vertex group. This group is used internally for deformation, and will also be available on the target mesh for normal transfers, after plugging. It's time to test the plug now. I'd recommend you test your plugs on a sphere, and on a box as well. Duplicate the entire plug and position it accordingly. Test the plug tool's features. Definitely check if contain and normal transfer are working. Repeat on the cube. Since there's no surface curvature, and because there are already only two edges connecting the plug, the dissolve angle property has no effect. With the plug confirmed to be working, we can add it to a library. Select the handle, and choose Add Plug to Library, from the Plug Utils sub-menu. Make sure the dialog is set to New, and choose a library from the drop-down. Remember that libraries, that are locked in the plug settings in Mesh Machine's preferences, will not be available here. Optionally enter a name for the plug. There's a preview of the path and options to turn off indicators, but I'd recommend to leave these on, as they provide useful information. Confirm by pressing OK. The plug will be saved to the previewed path, and its icon will be rendered in the background. Once done, the plug will appear in the library. Test it again, if you want.
I'm going to create a filleted variation of this plug now. To do so, delete the handle, and run the clear plug properties tool. Understand, that plugs have various properties attached to them, and they need to be reset if you want to create a new plug from an existing one. Chamfer and fuse the hard edge. Alternatively, just use the bevel tool, but remember to remove the sharp edge markings in that case. Run the create plug tool again, and recreate the plug handle as we did before. Again, run the validate plug tool. And notice, how this one has been correctly recognized as a fillet plug. I'm also adding this plug to the library. Edge, and fillet plugs. I'm gonna bevel this cube now, so I can properly use the normal transfer feature. I should have done this at the beginning. I'm also flattening the normals of the cube's sides. And last but not least, I'm now going to create a subset plug from this. As before, delete the handle and clear the plug properties from the plug mesh. Then, create a separate, secondary object. Once done, select everything, but make sure the main plug mesh, is the active object. And again, finish the handle. If you edit the plug, like I did here, when I turned the fillet into a chamfer, after the plug has been created, you will have to ensure that the vertex group still only covers the surface level polygons. The plug is properly described as a subset plug in the validate plug tool. But as mentioned, the vertex group got messed up when I created the chamfer and micro bevels. Remember, only surface level polygons.
perfect. <laughs>